Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Clean Technica TV. Today we're in Amsterdam to talk about a brand new car rental company called UFO Drive. There's a lot different about them. First of all, they only have EVs. They have everything from the Model 3, Model S, uh, the Hyundai Kona, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Audi e-tron, the Nissan Leaf. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. And besides that, they also do everything through an app. Usually renting a car can be a bit of a daunting experience and they wanted to make sure it's as butter smooth as possible. And for that, they have their app. Let's take a look at how that works. So I've already gone through the registration process, so we're immediately gonna reserve our car. As you can see, there are a lot of possible cities to choose from, but today we are in Amsterdam. So let's take the Model S. You can immediately see what day it is today when we're filming. And it's already 10, so let's go personalize. You can also extend your range and it will be a bit cheaper. The car is already charged and charging is really simple, but you'll see that a bit later. You can choose two uh, options for insurance, either a thousand dollar excess, which is free, or 24 euros per day and then zero excess. You can also add up to three additional drivers, so that's great. So let's check our payments. You Add your credit card, it's very easy. To, you just scan one in, no problem. Uh, there are some loyalty programs, you can get credit. I think we're ready to go. So, we're here. This is what they call the UFO landing bay. Ironic, right? In any case, we're about five minutes from Amsterdam Central t train station. Uh, UFO Drive tries to place their bays either next to train stations or next to airports. And today we have a 2019 Model S. Let's open her up. So there's one little detail that I really appreciated, and that is that they have a bottle of water for you ready to go. You unplug the car, make sure to leave the cable there, just hang it at the charger. And let's get going. First thing we're going to do is take this car to Luxembourg. That's where Aidan McLean is, UFO Drive CEO. Originally, we were planning to show the interview here now, but then the video would just get, go way over 20 minutes. So here it is in the top right corner. Feel free to watch that first or open it in a separate tab. We will now instead continue with our general UFO Drive overview. We're already back in the Netherlands now, and I gotta say, I love the experience so far. Driving an EV, and especially a Tesla, it's great. So let's start by addressing one of people's biggest fears about electric vehicles, and that is the limited range, and what happens when the battery runs low. Luckily, this is a Tesla, and we can charge it at any of thousands of superchargers like this around the world. I mean, what could be easier? You grab the cable, press the button, and plug it in. Now what if I'd taken the Hyundai Kona EV, or any other EV for that matter? Just like with a Tesla, you can plug it in your old garage. Or throughout the rest of Europe, you can charge right here at Ionity. These chargers are capable of reaching 350 kilowatt hours, and they're all over Europe with varying degrees of coverage. And from UFO Drive, you get this nifty little card. It works at almost any kind of charger you can have in Europe. They also have a couple of other spare cards in the back. They're part with an echo and it just makes it all pretty easy to plug and play. 
The problem is, it's not as easy to find where they are, so planning a road trip can still be a bit of a pain in the ass. There are also tools like abetterrouteplanner.com that can actually help you find these locations much simpler. You just type in what kind of car you have and it'll plan the route for you and several possible alternatives. So just see what works out best. So something interesting we saw at this fast charger is that two of the stations are already completely operational, but there's also at least space for four more that only need to be installed. So if they do want to expand, they can do it quite rapidly. That's a pretty smart strategy. Although Ionity does have a pretty big drawback, especially in rainy countries like the Netherlands. Yeah, you want to charge your car, get ready to get wet. Unless you want to go to Fastnet, who also have fast chargers and a Tesla adapter. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to get to one today, but we will in a future video. So there are a couple of things regarding fuel that's different for UFO Drive. When you get a regular rental with gas, you know, you have to fill the tank, pay for gas all the time, and that can be pretty expensive. For the people in the US who don't know this, in Europe, gas prices are twice as much as what they are in the US. In addition to that, UFO Drive, they already, most of the electricity is already paid for. You can put a, change a slider if you can predict how, much, how many kilometers you'll have to drive. But in any case, charging, it's not that expensive. And if you make sure that if you are taking, uh, if you are comparing UFO Drive to the competition, make sure to deduce those gas costs. Because if the prices of UFO Drive seemed a bit premium to you, they won't. Not after you deduce the gas price. One thing is for sure, these guys, they are totally being left behind in the dust. Unless they do some dramatic restructuring. To some degree, it feels like UFO Drive does not yet help you with regular EV road tripping. When it comes to a Tesla, it's pretty simple. You type in a touchscreen where you want to go, and it calculates it all automatically. But in case of a non-Tesla EV, you kind of got to know what to do. So usually when you rent a car, it's because you're either on vacation or you have to because it's currently under repair. In the case of UFO Drive, there are a couple of more reasons why you might want to try out their service. Are you a fanboy or fangirl of EVs and Tesla? Have fun, take a car for a few days. Or if you can give it to somebody as a birthday present. I mean, personally, I'd love that. In addition to that, if you're considering buying one of the cars that they have, whether it be a Tesla, a Hyundai Kona, or any of the other models, take their car for a few days or for a week. You'll get a much better idea of whether this is the right car for you or not. Much better than any kind of test drive you could get. I mean, test drive, it lasts, I don't know, what, 15 minutes? More if you're lucky? In any case, this is, this is much better. This is great. If you have the choice between any regular old rental service and UFO drive, go for UFO drive. Other than that, whether you want to use their rentals for a business trip abroad, a fun road trip, or temporarily as your daily commute to work, you're covered either way. So let's return the car to the UFO landing bay and see what the return process looks like. In the app, I click return, then on directions, and then go where the app tells me to go. Right now, you can only return the car to the same place you took it from, but they're working on that, and they say in a, sometime soon you're, you should be able to pick it up in one location and drop it off in another. Once there, we look at more detailed instructions of where exactly we need to be, either where the car park is and where inside the car park the UFO landing bay is. So, we plug in the car again, and then we make sure it's locked. Alright, let's wrap it up. So in the app, you click drive, then you click return, 
Then the next thing, it will not let you immediately click close rental because you first need to go to inspect. You can also go through that via the directions. Just make sure to scroll down. Go to inspect and make sure there's no damage. After that, you can just finally close the rental. It will uh, ask you to confirm one more time and then you should be done. All right, that's it. Now you can just walk away. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified when we do release a video. And finally, I want to thank my friend Lucas Munninghoff who helped film today's episode. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Till next time.